Hi everyone, merhaba, this is Ayşenur Altan. Welcome to Turkish Food and Travel. I'm excited to share with you how to make Turkish coffee. I'm gonna give all the details I know on how to make frothy coffee. But first we're gonna take a closer look on where to buy the best Turkish coffee, the most famous brands and the famous places where locals get them. And finally, I'm gonna show you two ways of making the Turkish coffee. First will be my husband's way and the second mine. So let's get started. My friends, where I live, these uh, stores are very common. You can buy uh, beans and all kinds of nuts and everything seasonings they also sell freshly ground coffee i'm gonna uh, buy it from here to show you inside they check your temperature first i was successful after i filmed and it was 36 thankfully turkish ground coffee here is 38 turkish liras for kilogram it's about four and a half dollars Next to the coffee, they also sell Turkish delights, which is served with coffee, but I already have it at home. Yüz gram. Turkish coffee is mostly made from Arabica beans. It is medium roasted and grounded to very fine. After having coronavirus, you realize that it's such a blessing to be able to smell. And we should never take them for granted. Now I'm in another very common store which called Ayuz Beer and let's check what kind of Turkish coffee they have uh, as a package I see one here I tried it, my mother uses this one and it is okay, it says 100% Arabica coffee beans that's it Here is smaller one and it is again coffee arabica medium roasted and finely grounded and it is 45 turkish liras for kilogram and normally i also buy this one but they don't have it here it's finished when you come to turkey you might also see this dibek kahvesi dibek coffee but it is not my type actually because because it has many other ingredients like coffee whitener, glucose syrup and other stuff so I wouldn't recommend it traditionally we serve water with the coffee together in these small glasses I just wanted to show you and in the next store I found this Kuru Kahveci Mehmet Efendi brand which is the most famous one and they have special store in Eminönü if you come to Turkey you must already seen it and last year when I was filming Copper Pans vlog in Eminönü I showed you there too let's take a look You can buy a set 
for making coffee. Even though from the crowd my daughter Zeynep couldn't film me when I was buying the coffee, when I look back, I see that it was good old crowded times. By the way, when I check the ingredients, it is again made from 100% Arabica coffee. And now let's go back home and make our coffee. I'm gonna show you two methods of cooking and the first one is my husband's. Since I was also filming, I decided to let my husband cook the tea. I just added one heat teaspoon ground Turkish coffee and one Turkish coffee cup water which is about 70 milliliter. I turned on the heat on medium low and gave it to my husband. He likes to stir the coffee for three to four times, uh, leaving 10 to 15 seconds on each time until you see a lighter colored foam on top. The heat is very low. Here I was trying to get the best light to uh, see the coffee. After about 15 seconds, he's stirring the coffee again. About one minute, he's done with the stirring. I fast forwarded it after that. And he waits to get the foam on top. Within two and a half minutes in total, the coffee begins to rise and he pours everything all at once. We have nice foam and our no sugar Turkish coffee for one person is ready. Which was for me in this case and it was delicious. Thumbs up for my husband. Okay, next, my method. This time I'm gonna do it for two person, which is me and my daughter Zeynep. And I'm using this special jezve that I bought from Kastamonu this year. You can watch the whole episode from the link in the description box below. I scaled my water with the coffee cups for two, adding two heaped, very heaped teaspoon Turkish coffee and just a little sugar. This time our coffee will be with less sugar. And when you are making it to your guests, you have to ask if they want it with less sugar, which we call az şekerli, or medium, orta şekerli, or with sugar, şekerli. Şekerli means with sugar. And what I did here was just stir for about 20 times until everything is incorporated. I turn on the heat. Again, it is on low, medium, close to low, I can say. I'm gonna clean the sides if I have any particles of uh, coffee again. And that's it. After this, just don't stir it. We're gonna have to wait until it reaches to the point that will rise. I wanted to get you a clear idea so I opened my phone for time. Now it's one and a half minutes as you can see and now it is for fast forwarded and two and a half minutes. I didn't touch it at all. I see that it begins to rise slowly and create that lovely foam. And here the heat should be really less. You can maybe uh, play it with the heat and it begins to rise again. It's been three and a half minutes. Just keep calm here and don't touch the foam yet or jezve. Wait. 
still wait let it rise slowly not yet we have still time it rises a little more and now I can collect the top foam first I get it two teaspoon on each coffee cup and I still had it so I added one teaspoon more on each and now it's time to get it off from the flame pour it slowly from side without disturbing the foam and pour halfway on each cup giving a little swirl so if there is any uh, foam on sides you can get it and fill the cups if there is a little gap you can close it with the help of the teaspoon make sure you serve water with it which has a story behind when guests come to your house first thing you serve is a Turkish coffee with the water and if the guests drink the water first it's kind way of saying that they are hungry but if they begin to drink coffee first it means they are full it's also traditional to serve some small sweets with the coffee it can be Turkish delight or chocolate and we are ready to enjoy our Turkish coffee with my daughter Here we were joking about having the water after the coffee. I said then, it means you are not hungry. And she said, no, I'm very hungry. <laughs> Let's make pachanga after this, she said. So my friends, this was the story from my view on how to make Turkish coffee. I hope you enjoyed watching and will give it a try. If you are interested, you can also watch how to make Turkish tea. You can support me by subscribing, liking and commenting. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you in another delicious Turkish food recipes and travel vlogs. Afiyet olsun.